What's going on? This is No Bad Days. I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another wonderful episode with me. Um, I've been trying to film this video for a few days now and uh, I just haven't gotten around to filming an ending or, you know, just life happens. Anyways, um, unfortunately and sadly, YouTube isn't my first priority, but um, so I finally am taking this minute now for... Uh, to finish off. I'm going to use this as the intro and then I'm going to finish off an outro and I'm going to put all the stuff I've compiled in the meantime in between. Um, it's Canada Day here in Canada. Um, so happy Canada Day to all the Canadian subscribers and uh, happy 4th of July in a couple days to all the American subscribers. And the rest of the world, whatever day it is for you, happy day for that. Um, my hair is a mess. been driving around and I didn't have a hat on and got the windows open. Just how we're rolling today. So um, I just want to talk a little bit about, um, before I dive into the big new reveal, um, it's how we kind of got to this point of acquiring this new set of wheels. So in my professional career, personal life, things like that, I've realized that it's extremely important to set goals, which, duh, everybody knows that you got to set a goal. But I found for myself and maybe for others, it's very important to set specific goals. So... You know, I could say I want to get a new set of wheels. Well, that's a little vague, so it's hard to work towards that goal when it's so broad because there's no real connection to it. So rather than that, I want to get wheels, you know, this specific set of wheels, Wheels X, and I work towards that, almost like a vision board. And now it's kind of put a name to that goal and it makes it much more realistic and also the drive becomes a little bit more serious. You know, there's no reason to be like, well, I'll put it off. Um, so long story short, as anybody that knows me or has been following me for a little bit, I go through a lot of wheels. I've had a lot of set of wheels in my life and uh, my tire guy loves me for it. Thank you, Zach. And um, you know, it, it's just what I like to do. It's the one thing on a car that can be changed all the time and it really changes up the look a lot. So I was on the hunt for a set of TE37s for people that know what those are. It's a Volk one piece wheel, um, you know, a real JDM track inspired wheel and just classic, timeless. You know, you can't go wrong with a set had my eyes on a set and it wasn't my ideal spec and I was still like maybe I'll just do it even though I wasn't 100% sure but I decided to sleep on it and wait because I had I wanted to get a new set of three-piece wheels for the for the E46 not the 5 series already had three-piece wheels but um and then out of nowhere this set of wheels popped up and uh you know used with tires on them and obviously I would have changed the tires anyways but I'm like hmm these are not exactly what I was looking for because I never really had them on my radar as a three-piece wheel because A, the expense, um, B, just the bolt, just a very uncommon for a 5x120 and I'd have to redrill them anyways. And these popped up and I messaged the guy, you know, on a Friday night and said, you know, I'll offer you X amount of dollars and he very politely declined, which was fair enough. Um, and then the following Sunday, I got a message from him and he said, listen, if the offer's still there, I'll take it. So I drove out the next day and I landed myself a set of mint condition uh, Forge Line ZX3R wheels. So that's their race line. That's a Forge face, titanium hardware, crazy lightweight, and they're just baller spec 18 by 10. Um, it's a very, very awesome wheel. And I'm super hyped that I was able to get my hands on it. Again, not something that I really even thought about, but I did have a specific wheel in mind um, that I was working towards. But uh, sometimes when you, <laughs> sometimes something bigger comes up to play when you're working towards a goal. Um, so yeah, so that's what I ended up getting. You're going to see a bunch of footage of them here. Um, I had a little issue with the center caps, so this, they don't make a they don't have a center cap. It's a track wheel. Um, and it doesn't have any, uh, grooves or anything. They, the bore of the center where the cap would sit is the exact same as the hub bore because they remove as much material as possible to make them light. Anyways, found a set of two, um, forge line center caps that we, we thought we could make work. So I bought them got them, put them on the car just for a photo, see how they look, and then we're gonna figure out how to make them work. And I totally forgot to take them off and drove away with, away with them on the car, lost one. So down one right away, which sucks, but you know, it's my fault, can't blame anybody else. So now I have one, and now the hunt is basically gonna have to buy a set of four if I can find them, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So yeah, so new wheels, hyped about that. The car's sitting exactly kind of how I wanted it. I had a goal for this, and I had a vision of exactly how I wanted the car to look. Um, there's still stuff that needs to be done, but it was like, we're right on pace with where, where I was hoping to be. Again, this was kind of like my way of building cars, and um, 
I just wasn't sure if I could get it to, to look the way I wanted to. Anyways, it's turning out the way I wanted. The response to the wheels on social media has been very, very positive, um, which is great. I'm glad that other people like it. Ultimately, it doesn't matter, but because they're mine, matters what I think about them, but um, stoked on them. And uh, yeah, so just when it comes to goals, it's like that was in re regards to the wheels, but even in my career, people talk about, you know, what's your niche market? And I had to really like, really define my niche market so that I wasn't hitting it so broadly because I could say, you know, my niche market is this, but it was just too broad and there's too many people and it's just like, you'll just be working in circles. And, you know, I found when I really narrow down my goals and things like that, it just makes it much more achievable, much more manageable, much more realistic. So if any word of advice, I'm sure people know this, but it's like, yeah, like set specific goals, achieve them, set a new goal and keep pushing forward. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit, but we have to achieve goals. It can't just be this, you, you can have this long-term just end goal, but it's like, have achievable goals that are uh, realistic, achieve them, set a new one, work towards that. And um, it's made my life a little bit more structured, but it's also, it's made it, it's made it possible. So anyways, I'm, I rarely film ever inside the house. I'm always out by a car and um, I figured I'd just show a little update. I don't know if I've showed this before or I have showed this before. So this is homie Brian Weary's Pro Model, but I've got his new pro model too i don't know if i showed that on here but this is his newest pro model so rad he's a been a friend for man way too long and uh, he kills it awesome skateboarder and uh, we've got a couple of them so we roll you gotta support the homies and uh, always you know jessup grip but these won't get ridden anyways they're just for the wall they're for the office and uh but i just wanted to show those off because they're awesome so anyways let's get to the actual So I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it sounds a lot better when you're driving, but that's the uh, carbon cold air intake that I have. That's actually quite loud, even pops on shifts and stuff there. It's kind of a neat little feature. Um, makes it sound like it's a little bit more gutsy than it is. And the exhaust note's it's not overly entertaining on these things, but hey, it's there. What can you expect from a 2.2 um, .2 liter inline six? It's not, it's not this gnarly sounding thing. So anyways, let's cruise to a different spot for the E46. So here they are. These are Forge Line ZX3 three piece uh, Forge Face uh, 18 by 10 ET35, so 35 offset. Square. So I was able to pick these up off a uh, off somebody somewhat locally used, and um, yeah, they're amazing. Stoked on them. Exactly what I was looking for comment that I've gotten so far is hey when are you getting center caps so these are track wheel traditionally so you don't run center caps on a track wheel because you're not allowed to use them because they fly off on the track um, but oddly enough a friend of mine was perusing the old Facebook marketplace and saw a pair listed so only a pair but I've got a pair that shipped out today um, I think I'll be able to order and like the last two from forge line if not then I will uh, uh, JB math I assume you know, fingers crossed, can just machine me another two to match. Or I get four made custom ones. But stoked on it. They, uh, I think they suited amazingly. Um, again, super lightweight, way lighter than my Keskins. And uh, they just, they just suit it. Like the black with the polished lip, they're just baller. Um, so I'm stoked on them. And uh, the Keskins are now for sale. If anybody's interested, um, they're posted with tires and uh, they're in great condition. So yeah, so that's where we're at now and I painted the, well, didn't paint, I wrapped the hood grills uh, black. So the Stimtech hood, Stim hood vents are now black, which I think just 
Makes it a little bit more subtle. I liked the silver, but I don't know. I wanted to try black, hence why it's wrapped. And I think they turned out awesome. So yeah, it's coming together. Um, trying to think of what else we have to go. I think in the last video, I talked about the sparkle steering wheel. So like the steering wheel's now installed. It looks rad. Or maybe I didn't talk about it. I can't remember. Um, so the sparkle steering wheel, quick release, energy carbon quick release is now on there. I run a short hub adapter instead of a traditional regular length hub adapter because I'm super tall. Well, not super tall, but I'm 6'4", so tall. And, uh, and then I've got some other little goodies for the interior coming. Um, so those will be coming shortly. And then I want to do a um, new driver's seat, obviously, for better side bolster and uh, all that good jazz. So here's how it sets, sits currently. I'm stoked on it. Um, So I've got a hat on now to show that time had passed. You can see this is a different time than when I was filming before. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, lots of, you know, there's going to be updates coming. I, I got to get out to some car meets. I spend, <laughs> I tend to spend all my time with the same kind of car people. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll show you what those people do. But I feel that uh, I always just end up forgetting to film. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. It's my bad. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments. Um, you know, I appreciate all the comments. And yes, I do know that people tell me I look like Dylan Francis. Maybe not right now. A little bit more here. But uh, I do have a little bit of a Dylan Francis vibe. That's more he looks like me. I think I'm older. So um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. This is No Bad Days. I'm Ryan. Have an amazing weekend. Happy Canada Days. Happy 4th of July. All that good stuff. Take care of each other. Be safe out there. Have a great weekend.